What is going on everybody? Spiker Zenith here. Today I'm going to do a quick tutorial on how to record without using a capture device your Xbox One or PlayStation 4 uh, gameplay footage. Now, this is going to require you to have a PC with a wired connection, not a wireless one. Uh, and also your Xbox or PlayStation 4 will need to be on the wired connection as well. So if they're not plugged into your uh, switch or router or whatever you got set up and you're using a wireless connection, this is not going to work very well. You'll have input lag or issues. And even if you have a really decent like wireless network, it's still probably going to give you problems. So it's better just to go wired. Anyway, with all that out of the way, we're going to go ahead and show you how to do it. You need OBS installed on your computer, such as this. Uh, you're going to be monitoring your desktop audio and your mic audio. As you can see, our mic audio is working. You will need a microphone plugged into your computer for this to work. And there won't be any way to really separate your, uh, your, your voices of your teammates if you're using Xbox, uh, like the party thing or the PlayStation party thing. You're not going to be able to separate those audios out, um, not easily. So I wouldn't mess with any of that. Just expect that they're going to be hearing everything everybody's saying all the time. Any game output that you hear on your headset, you're going to hear uh, within your recording. There really just isn't an easy way to separate that. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and start, uh, in this case, the Xbox app. Now, this is just going to be recording the stream. That's all we're doing. It's super, super simple. Uh, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Uh, just a quick example. You'll notice your uh, your desktop audio will make noise. Oh, there's all my friends. I'm going to go ahead and block that out so you guys can't see that. Now, uh, so anyway, we're going to stream our Xbox. You click down here on the uh, connection and stream. Now, you're going to need before you even open this app up, before you even open the Xbox console companion, they change the stupid app constantly. Before you even open this up, you'll need to be signed into your Xbox. So you'll have to walk downstairs or into the other room and sign into it. It's kind of annoying. That's what you have to do for the Xbox. Uh, PlayStation 4, I believe, is similar. Uh, but anyway, you're going to go ahead and click on this and hit stream. We're going to wait. Wait for it to connect. And do its thing. Connected. It's pretty quick. It says that there's no controller attached to this PC. I do not have a controller attached to the PC. I have it connected directly to the Xbox because it's not very far away. That'll reduce the input lag Look, from the controller to the console. You won't have very much lag. And normally there isn't a lot anyway. Uh, so you could use a controller plugged into your uh, PC as well. I'm going to go ahead and continue because I don't really care. Take my mouse cursor away. As you can see, now I'm on the Xbox dashboard. I'm going to go ahead and start uh, Perfect Dark. And if you're looking at your desktop audio as I'm clicking through here, you won't be able to see it on my screen. Uh, but you'll be able to uh, see that the desktop audio is like moving around and letting you know that there's sound going on. Go ahead and uh, Perfect Dark. Start that up. If it'll even start, we'll see. I don't know. It's giving me an error earlier. I restarted my Xbox. Kind of a piece of crap. But this does work for recording gameplay. There it goes. It actually scared me a bit. Oh my god. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and... Uh, now I am recording the gameplay. And if anybody was at a party with me, I'd be able to hear their voices as well in the recording. So as I'm recording this, I'm recording the gameplay. So let this all start up. Uh, screw around in a little bit of Perfect Dark. Man, I loved this game on the N64. It's awesome. This is just an easy way to record this stuff. And you may... Okay, awesome. All right, so we're gonna start to play. Perfect dark, yeah, 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 yeah. You don't need to do all that. Uh, I don't really care at this point. I'm just gonna go ahead and play games. It's gonna make you sign in, isn't it? Oh yeah. I don't play anything on console. There's no point in trying to add me because I probably won't add you. Sorry. Character Institute. So you can just like screw around. Uh, like as you can see, the gameplay is playing through. Joanna. And I'm. It's good to see you. I'm not losing any uh, frame rates or anything like that. So, you know, it's just, it's just a really cool thing to do, to be able to play this. Open this door. Hi, how are you? Hey. But anyway, uh, basically guys, this is the way you record your gameplay. And when you're done recording it, you know, you just uh, push escape, you can get your game closed, uh, or you can use your controller to exit properly. And now I'm going to go ahead and uh, stop this recording and I'll show you what it looks like in Premiere. All right, so uh, I'm going to bring up Adobe Premiere right now. I'm going to go ahead and click this here, Premiere Elements 13. That's what I use. Because I don't like to pay, uh, you know, out the ass for uh, software. I bought this a few years ago for like 100 bucks for Premiere in Photoshop. And it does everything I need it to do. Uh, I, will, I will update that later. It doesn't seem to want to apply updates anymore. So that's kind of cute. Uh, so anyway, we're looking at this uh, guy here. I'm just going to go ahead and uh, verify that I have the correct recording here. Uh, I do. Yep, that's the correct recording. So I'm going to go ahead and bring this over. Drag it into Premiere. And now, as you can see, I've got my, my audio capture. Now, notice my voice capture is not in this at all. Because remember what we set up last time, my last video? Hear the clicks? Hear the clicks? Uh, we need to get our commentary out of there. So again, we're going to right-click on that. And you can actually just hit Open With. 
Uh, you can open it with Audacity. But you don't bring up Audacity now. I've right clicked and opened it with that. Uh, the second one in here, for me anyway, is going to be my uh, microphone audio. We've I already went over this in the last video. Uh, just make sure it is correct. And make sure it's right. Xbox or, Xbox okay, so, or PlayStation 4 yep, will need yep, to... Yep, yep, stop. Thank you. <laughs> okay, go ahead and export the audio here. Uh, again, I name it commentary. Name it commentary. Go ahead and hit OK. Save that. And now we've got a WAV file of the commentary. Hit no. We drag that down here, the commentary file. Uh, and now we have our commentary in here also. Uh, so just like before. What is going on? It's another kind of recap of that. And yeah, as you can hear, Sorry. there it is. Character Institute. So you can just like screw around. Uh, like as you can see, the gameplay is playing. And as you can hear there, you were hearing my voice while I was playing the game. And you can hear the game playing sounds through. also. And I'm it's good to see you. I'm not and guys, that's it. That's all you really need to do to record uh, using your Xbox One over your network, using the streaming. Uh, and that's, that's how you capture it. It's that easy, guys. Guys, if this was helpful to you at all, give me a like, comment, subscribe. And I will see you next time. Thanks for watching.